On board every Disney cruise ship, there is a specialty restaurant known as Palo. It is an additional cost to go, but it is extremely good, and in today's video, I'm going to go over all the details you need to know about this restaurant. At the time of filming, Disney Cruise Line has four different ships. The Wonder and the Magic are the older ships and only have one specialty restaurant, Palo. Dream and Fantasy are the newer ships. They have two specialty restaurants. One is Palo, the other is Remy. Today, I'm only talking about Palo. When I first stepped on board, the Disney Cruise Line. I started to try the rotational dining and the food on board and even in cabanas. I was so impressed by the food quality, the flavor, it was all delicious. When you go to Palo, it takes that to the next level. Many friends told me, Michael, you've got to go to Palo on your next Disney Cruise. Over and over again, I was told this and I thought to myself, it, can it really be better? Can it really be that much better than the rotational dining? It is. It is truly some of the best food I have ever had. The appetizers with the scallops and the caviar and the salmon and the trout, it was unbelievable. And then the main dishes, my dad had the Parmesan chicken, the best thing I think I've ever had, ever had. And I had the lasagna, which was absolutely incredible. It is a restaurant that I want to go back to over and over again, despite the fact that it costs more money. The Disney Cruise Line is expensive, especially when you compare it to other cruises in the industry. But when you have to pay an additional amount on top of what you already paid, you're a little skeptical. You say to yourself, should I go? Should I try it? I've got to tell you, it's now $40 per person to go. I want to go every single cruise. That is how much I loved it. It used to be $30 per person. It's now $40 per person simply because of its popularity and it's easy to see why. On top of the additional price, there is a strict dress code at Apollo. You can't come in in a bathing suit and a t-shirt. You have to be a little bit more formal than that at this adults only location. If you've never been to Apollo before, that's one thing you will really recognize fast, how quiet it is compared to the rotational dining. Okay, second plate, you can see there's a lot of cheese on there. They've got those, I think, crab claws. Don't get me wrong here, I love all of the rotational dining on all of the ships that I've been on with the Disney Cruise Line, but Palo is a kid-free environment and there is something to be said for that when you're an adult and you're with other adults and you want to just enjoy a quiet meal. You can go to dinner at Palo any night during your cruise, but the brunch is only available on at-sea days and they fill up extremely quickly. So if you want a reservation at Palo for brunch, make sure you book it the moment you can and even then, you might not see any availability. If you're unable to book a reservation for Apollo, because they're all filled up and you really wanted to go, don't worry. You can also get a reservation once you're on board. My dad and I experienced this for the very first time on our most recent adventure. I tried to get a reservation in advance as early as I could, but they were all sold out by those who were able to book before me because I'm a silver level Castaway Club member. Instead, on the day that we arrived, I looked at the Navigator, which is, this is the first day Navigator, explains every single day, and they have Palo dining reservations and where to go for your attempt, attempt to get a a reservation. I was able to get one no problem on that first sea day. Okay, so I gave them our stateroom number and they're going to read them off in sequence. They said it's probably going to be about 10, 15, maybe even 20 minutes. So I'm going to go back into Triton's, continue eating. Like the rest of the cruise ship, you can order as much as you want from Palo. If you want to try two different entrees or split three among two people, you can do whatever you want. They are more than happy to serve you. One very important tip for Palo, make sure you don't eat anything beforehand. There is just so much to enjoy. You want to be very hungry when you arrive so you can try one of everything. If you go to Palo for brunch, I highly recommend prioritizing the appetizers and the entrees. They are some of the best in the world. I'm telling you, unbelievable food. The desserts, however, were a little bit underwhelming. So when I go back to Palo brunch in the future, I'm only prioritizing the appetizers and entrees. Last but not least, if you're thinking about going to Palo, I recommend budgeting just a little bit extra for an additional gratuity. It's not stated that it's included with that $40, so I I feel like when the service is above and beyond, I want to give just a little bit more to show my appreciation. Now, if you've been to Palo before, I want to know your favorite entree so that I can try it in the future. Let me know in the comments. Also, if you've never been to Palo before, now that you've seen the vlog, maybe you love cruising but never tried it before, let me know if you're thinking about Palo now in the future. I'd love to hear from you. Thank you so much for being a part of the magic with me. Until next time, have a magical day.